Hi Aries and welcome to your Libra New Moon Tarot reading. The Libra New Moon is on October 9th, so this uh, reading will cover the period of October 9th through November 6th, 2018. So Aries, let's take a look at the energy that you are dealing with and thinking about and focused on right before the moon is new in Libra. Now, um, Libra is all about relationships, every relationship of all kinds. So many of you are going to be experiencing this energy in your relationship department, but also, you know, where does Libra occupy your own personal nail chart because you will be experiencing things there as well. So let's see what Aries is focused on and thinking about the days leading up to the new moon. So like the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Oh, nice. You guys got Jupiter return benefits. So this is good, good energy. Pisces also got this card, Aries, and based upon their reading, it was quite positive and powerful. So I'm feeling the same thing for you guys with this coming out. You are very focused on what is owed to you, but it's not like this selfish sort of thinking. It's based upon your own energy, your own efforts, the person you are, everything you do, everything you give, you know, whether this is just in general to all the people in your life or it is about a very specific dream or in your career or some area of your life it's like you've been giving a lot of energy time and effort towards something and now it's time for that return back to you Aries um, those of you in relationships you know you could be very appreciated and doted upon during this new moon cycle so let's pull um, your friends could really be appreciating you in the workplace. You could be really appreciated, honored, and recognized a lot over this next month where people are just like, Aries, good job. Aries, what would I do without you? Yeah, some of you very much could be getting promoted, be getting a raise, or moving on to a different company entirely where you're going to be paid more, it's a better job, or some of you may be deciding to change your career path, okay? Very positive if that is the case. So let's um, pull some tarot, Aries, and see what comes out. All right, so we have the Page of Cups could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that you are dealing with and how fitting. So if you have a um, Pisces moon or Pisces rising, I highly recommend watching that reading just because you guys have the same card and the first card out is a water sign. But this could also, um, or if you're dealing with a Pisces, but this could also indicate, you know, a Cancer or Scorpio energy. Next out, we have the Three of Wands. Now we have the lovers, so big time romantic um, element for Aries, okay, or some sort of head and heart decision. Look at this, now we have the six of wands, God, this is such a great reading so far, and now beautiful nine of swords in this position, Aries, yes, I'm t and look at what would be next, this beautiful nine of pentacle, okay, beautiful nine of pentacle right there. Yeah, Aries, uh, yep, you guys are definitely going to be rewarded somehow, some way. Um, whether romantically or in the workplace or even in your family unit, maybe, I just see where maybe somebody who's been kind of cold, kind of disconnected, just kind of hard to deal with is like coming around and being like, Aries, you know what, you are everything, I'm sorry, um, I love you, I want you, you are the one, you are everything. I mean, this could be in an existing relationship or this could be um, a relationship that's trying to return to you where it's just, I'm telling you, Aries, you're everything. Like, you are everything through this new moon cycle. And somebody who has treated you bad, it could be friend, could be lover, could be family member, could be child, you know, is coming to you and saying, Aries, I'm sorry. And some of you, this is multiple people, okay? I'm sorry, you know, you do all all these things I wouldn't you know if my life didn't have you in it it would be empty or you know I've been missing you so much I want to be back with you it's just you are really being noticed you are really in focus you are really in the spotlight you're really being loved and adored and rewarded um, through this new moon cycle some of you 
Again, this is about relationships. Others of you, this could very much be in the workplace and the relationships you have there or other areas of your life. I don't know, but it's just like all about Aries, very positive Aries. Um, there could be multiple uh, romance offers coming your way during this Libra new moon cycle. So you take your pick. What is it that you want, Aries? Because if you take that it, this energy that is yours and you sow it with this Libra new moon and you take the steps and follow through all the way to the end, I really feel like there is a big time victory for you no matter what it is that you are reaching for 100%. So let's see how you transition through this Libra new moon cycle. We're going to start with because this is a couple days before, so now we're going to see what we you are sowing with this new moon. All right. So I was just about to cut, and that flew out, and oh my god, I love it. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Um, Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, okay? So if you have Sagittarius moon, Sagittarius rising, you watch that reading. Um, or this could be all about a Sagittarius person coming back into your world or really supporting you. But oh my god, Aries, this is a very lucky, fruitful ripe time for you energetically to sow seeds. What do you want? What do you want romantically? What do you want financially? What do you want for your career? What do you want your life to look like? What do you want for yourself? Okay? It's there. You are owed positive energy from the universe and the universe is bringing it in and giving it to you during this new moon cycle for you to sow and luck is on your side. Things are going to work out for you. This is a very austin auspicious period Aries um, especially in regards to relationships very strongly romance now as we move into first quarter moon a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra and so uh, I think that speaks for itself Aries yes you stay positive. You keep moving forward. You shine. You glow. You take every step you could take towards your dream, towards your career advancement. Like if you want to get promoted in the workplace, you want a reward, you've already been given 100, take that up to 120, okay? And I'm just telling you, the you're owed, but the more you give, the bigger, like, whoo. So let's see. Full moon. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Yeah, Aries, there's a destiny I hand here, and you know, this energy is there for you, but you've got to take it. You've got to align to it. So as we come into um, last quarter moon, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Oh my God, your own energy right there. Um, so normally we have the manifestation of things during the, the full moon period of a moon cycle. So here we have new moon in Libra, first quarter moon, and then boom. Uh, full moon in Taurus right there. However, it looks like to me, for you guys, after we start going into the waning period and we get down to that last quarter moon, that's when it's time for you guys to take action or that's when things really start taking off. So um, this would be the period just um, at the end of October, just the start of November, okay? And whatever if you have to make a move, I feel like that is the time frame in which to do so. That's when, um, because look, it sits right under this uh, Nine of Swords, because this way we are blocked. But here, now we are finally able to break through. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I feel like that last week of October, first week of November, is more the period to actually take action, all right? However, there is some recognition, some reward for you throughout this whole cycle, but it gets even better. Okay, wow, Aries, it is crazy. Um, and also with this, if you've been procrastinating, you've been holding back, you haven't been actively pursuing your dreams or you know different changes you want to make in your life, boom, it is time. There is the universe saying to you, Aries, it is time. Wow, great, great reading. All I got to say, very lucky, very blessed, uh, good karma return. It's like your karma payday. And the way that comes to each and every one of you is very, very different. So 
here's your advice, which is move. It says, usher in the new energy that brings about new beginnings. Remain positive to move forward fearlessly. Aries, yes, it is time. It is time to let go of the past. It is time to let go of unfairness, injustice, anything that didn't work out. Who cares about all that? Mm -mm. We're about to move into this very lucrative, productive, prosperous, abundant cycle. You know, at least from November 9th, I'm sorry, October 9th through November 6th. And here's the universe saying, you need to act upon your dreams. You need to act upon your internal promptings. This is such a blessed time for you guys. Oh my God, it's like the impossible can be achieved and you guys are being recognized. You are being rewarded for past efforts. This is all about good karma pay to Aries and this particular moon cycle is incredibly magical for you to sow seeds of what it is you want to manifest for yourself and you hold that vision all the way through and you take every single step you can take towards it and you do every action you could do towards it and I promise Aries magic utter magic for you guys and um, just because Libra showed up here we do have the lovers it is a very Libra is the sign of romance many of you this has a lot to do with relationship either current relationships you're involved in actually becoming better um, connections of the past returning where they're apologizing and saying that you are everything to them okay um some of you it could be a gemini you're dealing with just because the lovers is there but overall aries it's time to get going it's time to move it's time to believe it's time to open your hands and receive the beautiful energy that is due to you so those are your messages aries i am wishing you all the very best take care